Hey YouTubers, welcome back to my channel called Garden Affair. I um, just wanted to uh, harvest some kale today. I uh, want to show you how to do that. And if you can, as you can see, the kale, um, which I planted in February, has probably, I don't know, tripled its size, maybe even quadrupled its size since the, um, in, in a matter of two to three weeks. So, but I'm going to do some harvesting today, like I said, and um, let's, I'm going to bring you in a little closer here so that you can see how I harvest my kale. So I have a pair of scissors here and I'm just going to get in there with my scissors when I'm going to cut as close as I can get to the actual stem and I just cut it and I will go on um, doing the rest and I think there's something else that I want to um, harvest today and I'll bring you along for that too and I'll show you what I get at the end hey guys so while I was harvesting I noticed this um, leaf here has a lot of holes on it and I knew exactly what it was it was a pesky little green caterpillar on there and I looked for it underneath the leaf because that's where I normally find them but this one was on top of the leaf and if you can see he is um, getting ready to munch away uh, <laughs> so um, I'm gonna get rid of him but I did end up um, harvesting this and this is kind of what I what I ended up with some of you might go oh my goodness that's that's harsh but um, give it two to three more weeks and I'll be harvesting this again and um, the harvesting kind of helps this plant actually because there's a, this um, cabbage butterfly that lays its eggs on this and if you harvest them regularly it cuts down on the amount of well caterpillars that forms <laughs> that hatches and decides that your plant is really yummy but yeah this is what I found uh, I did get quite a bit but I'll show you um, what the harvest how much I got um, in a later video so I think now I want to harvest some sage so let me bring you along okay so here here's the sage um, if you if you if you could see that it is flowering and I always like to get and harvest all the sage that I'm going to need for the entire year. I like to get it in the early spring or spring. And um, what I do is I will uh, just get in here and I like to just pinch these things off with my fingernail. Now sage can be pretty tough so if you do wait later in the year, um, oh it smells so good. Uh, so if you do wait later in the year, it will get a little bit, a bit more woody. And um, I think, I don't know, I think that the sage is um, just a nice thing to to have around the house. It's it's good for in breakfast things like eggs and quiche and things like that. But I do harvest this early in the spring. And then for the rest of the year, I don't harvest any. Uh, this plant I've had for probably four years now and um, last year I didn't trim it down I and it got probably about four feet tall and four feet wide so um, in the fall I did a really hard trim on it <laughs> I was I was afraid that I might have killed it but these things are pretty much invincible so um, so, and as you can see, I didn't. Right now, it's a, probably about two feet wide and two feet tall. So, I would recommend um, cutting your uh, sage plant in the winter when it's dormant and there's no sage on it. But I'm going to harvest some of this and I'm going to show you what I get. Um, I'll also probably put this, uh, hang that just hang, hang this to air dry. It is kind of humid right now, but. I think that if I put it in the house, um, I think I think that it'll work out okay. But these also have beautiful little blooms on them. 
so and you know I, I do like to pick it before it blooms usually so I'm running a little bit late because it does kind of make it woody but I think I think it's gonna be okay so so if it's if it's not I'll, I'll I still have some from last year <laughs> but I'm sure that um, this will be just fine but yeah beautiful beautiful little flowers and the bees do love this so they'll come in and um, get get whatever they want off of it but anyway so I'll um, I'll get some of the sage and I'll just hang it up to air dry and I'll harvest some of it and I'll kind of show you what I got at the end I um, with my kale and my sage together but should should be a beautiful thing so let me let me get to harvesting this and we will um, I'll bring you back to show you what I ended up with Okay, so here is the sage and kale harvest that I'm getting today. Um, it's the first harvest that I'm getting out of the garden, so I'm pretty excited about it. I might cook up some kale with um, a little butter and garlic and um, bouillon cube or powder a little later today. And like I said earlier, I'm going to hang the sage up uh, by a string in the house in a cooler um, cool dark place dry it's really humid out so we'll see see how this um, air dries but I, I think it'll be okay but yeah this, this is what I ended up with so looking forward um, to having the kale a little later I appreciate you guys watching please like and subscribe or don't like and subscribe this is not a bagathon thank you very much for watching